story time about my boyfriend ended up being my stepdad. So I was dating this kid and me and this kid had like the best relationship. He was 19 and I was 17. And I mean, we were literally always together. And my mom would always call him hot and stuff like that. But you know, I thought that's just what moms do. And I didn't think of it in that type of way. So one day my boyfriend got mad at me. And he was like, I'm gonna F your mom, become your stepdad, and boss you around if you keep up that attitude. And I mean, who would think that he's gonna actually try to do that? And I said, I would like to see you try. But again, we were just in a, like a little argument, so... So about a month or two goes on, and I find messages from my boyfriend to my mom and vice versa. They were like sexting, and I saw things I did not want to see from my mother. So I went to go confront both of them, and I confronted my mom first. And, like, she wouldn't tell me nothing. She just told me to get out of her face. Oh, but my boyfriend told me they have been hooking up. But he told me I was overreacting because it's just my mom. Oh, just wait till you find out what happens next. I'm running out of time, like, for part two. Part two on how my boyfriend became my stepdad. So, continuing on with the story, I told him that he was disgusting. And then I just ended our relationship. And, like, at first, he wouldn't let me break up with him. But then, finally, we were just both like, okay, this is not going to work out. So, about two days later, I come home and I see him at my house. And I'm like, dude, we're not getting back together, so don't try. Like, you're weird. And he has the audacity to go, I'm not here for you, I'm here for your mother. And at that point, I was like, um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm moving out. And that night, I heard some noises that I didn't want to hear. And then my mom ended up getting pregnant again. She's only like 34, I think, but he's 19. So the age gap isn't really that big of a difference. But it's the point that my boyfriend decided to F my mom, get her pregnant, and now I don't even know how I'm related to this child. Yeah, so now my mom's pregnant with my ex-boyfriend's child. I mean, I'm so nice to the kid because it's my step-sibling's dad. But at the same time, I secretly want to, like, you know, inject him out of the game. And the game I want to inject him out of is life, so, yeah. Story time of how I caught my teacher and my best friend doing the dirty. So everything was fine up until the middle of the year when she started acting really strange and so did he. So at the time I was 13 and she was 14. And I'm pretty sure my teacher was in his mid-20s or 30s. So basically she's the type of girl who literally hates school and will do anything to get out of class. Then I noticed her getting early to class and not leaving until everybody else left. Then I started paying a little more attention and he would always walk by her desk and slip her notes and candy and just weird stuff and it was really really strange to me. He also moved to her desk right next to his, which his was all the way in the back left corner of the classroom. He would also always make jokes with her, which I didn't really understand until I found out they were sleeping together. So on Friday, my mom messaged her parents asking if they could pick me up Monday because my parents were going out of town that weekend and I hated riding the bus. Well, I'm guessing she didn't know that I was going home with her Monday. So that Monday, I got into her mom's car and I asked her mom where she was. Her mom said that she was failing math and her math teacher offered to tutor her. This teacher was also brand new. I'm running out of time, so like for part two. Here's part two of how I found out my best friend was sleeping with our teacher. So continuing on with the story, I told her mom that I've never seen him tutor somebody before. Plus, she told me her grades were sky high in that class. I ended up forgetting my pencil pouch, which had my keys to my house in it, so I had to go back anyways. And when I went back, the door was locked. And like, he had something over it or whatever, but I could see under it because he didn't cover it all the way. And she was on his desk and he was kissing her. Or doing weird stuff i knew her mom wouldn't believe me if i told her what i saw so i just told her it was an emergency and she was in trouble so we booked it back to the classroom and at first we didn't see them and then she seen a foot come from beside the desk mind you we're peeking under it so we couldn't really see much her she started banging on the classroom door and screaming i've never seen her this mad i was honestly terrified that i ran into a separate classroom the teacher to this day i'm pretty sure he's still in jail and she is still homeschooled and grounded with no phone we found out that he was married with four kids. Well, was married. Story time of how I found out that my 13-year-old sister was sleeping with my teacher and nobody ever did anything about it. So this is the first time that I'm actually telling anybody because I'm finally old enough to realize that all of this was just wrong. So at the time, my sister was in 8th grade and I was in 6th grade. So my sister claimed that she needed extra help in history. And I guess my mom trusted him because after school, he would take me and my sister to his house and then like help my sister. And he would always say he had to get ready before he tutored her because they would like go in the room with the door shut. But he said that was the only way for her to learn best. And while we were waiting for him to get ready, me and my sister would play this literal funnest and like most satisfying game ever. It's where you grow little plant dudes and me and her literally got so addicted to it. The link to that is also gonna be in my bio. And then he would start playing the game with her, trying to get on her good side. And then they make me wait in the living room for about an hour while they study. And every day she would come out saying, oh my god, I learned so much today. I mean, she did learn something. Anyways, I'm running out of time like for part two. 
part two of how I caught my 13 year old sister sleeping with her teacher. So continuing on with the story, I was just waiting outside the room until they got done. And one day my mom called me and said that it was an emergency and she had to pick us up early. So I knocked on the door really lightly and then I opened the door and I'm surprised it wasn't locked. And I opened the door and I see my 13 year old sister and her 42 year old teacher just getting it on. I mean, I ain't no snitch, so I didn't say nothing. At the time, I was 11 years old in sixth grade and I high fived her. Then the teacher bribed me with 500 bucks to not say anything. Again, I was in sixth grade at the time, so my parents would definitely wonder where I got the money from. So the teacher told me that if I let them keep doing their thing, he'll make this fake raffle and say that I won it. Because me and my sister were so close, I never snitched on her. And this is the first time I'm telling the story. Me and my sister don't talk anymore. So if you're that teacher that gave me 500 bucks to keep effing my older sister, you are probably one of the most disgusting people that I've ever met. And if this story gets out there, sorry for saying this, but I need to get this out there. John Wilson, you deserve to rot in jail. Okay, so I went to Target about 30 minutes ago. And I was looking for iPad cases, and the iPad cases and the phone cases are all together, but everything is locked up to prevent stealing. There was these two adorable girls. They were literally look so cute and innocent. Piggy tails and everything. The mom or dad or parent or guardian or whatever was nowhere to be found. Well, like, wasn't by them. And at max, they were four and probably seven. They were tiny little adorable things. One of them pulls a hammer out of their, like, bag and starts hitting one of the phone case things. Trying to get it out of, like, the security thing. I already knew what they were doing. And I was like, girls, you're not gonna be able to get that out of there. So just go to the cases over there. Because there was, like, a little section of dollar cases that wasn't, like, security protected. The four-year-old, or, like, the younger one, looks at me and goes, F-U-B, but says the cuss words. Throws their little hammer at my foot, but doesn't hit me with it. Then kicks me. Then grabs, like, the phone case security box thing. Calls me a F-A-G-G, then you know the rest. And said, no, I'm stealing this one, bro. Story time of how I found out that I was pregnant with my stepbrother's baby. So basically I was 16 at the time and my mom didn't let me date. So I had to keep dating this guy a secret from my mom. And every weekend this guy would come over and she was dating him but she didn't think that we were ready to meet his kids yet. Okay, so to be able to hang out with my boyfriend, me and him both told our parents that we were going to a friend's house. And my best friend's mom does not care what she does, so me and him would both always go there. So about a year into dating this kid, me and him were both tired of keeping it a secret from our parents. And legit, coincidentally, the same exact night that I was going to tell my mom about my boyfriend is the same exact night her boyfriend was going to bring his kids over so we could meet them. So I was going to wait till after we met them so she was in a better mood. And when my mom's boyfriend got there, so did my boyfriend. Me and him literally don't know how we didn't catch on. So we both decided not to tell our parents yet. And then me and my boyfriend decided that we were just going to take advantage of it. Because my mom's boyfriend was going to be moving in, so that means I can live with my boyfriend. I'm running out of time like for part two. <laughs> Part two, I found out that I was pregnant with my stepbrother's baby. Continuing on with the story, my mom's boyfriend moved in. And because my boyfriend was my mom's boyfriend's son, he also moved in. So every time my mom and her boyfriend, aka my boyfriend's dad, would go to sleep, me and my boyfriend would always end up in the same bed. I don't know how we hid this for such a long time. But they ended up telling us that they were getting married. So me and my boyfriend decided that we were going to tell them that we had been dating for I think it was two years at the time. My mom and his dad were absolutely okay with it, and at that, they made us share a room in our new house. And an exact week after they got married, I ended up taking a pregnancy test just for fun, and they came out positive. I was literally so scared, and two days later, my mom told me that she was pregnant. So as we speak now, I have a two-year-old brother by my boyfriend's dad, and I have a two-year-old baby by my stepbrother. 